why 2023 will be the year of AI education. According to Nisha Talagala, entrepreneur and technologist in AI and AI literacy, artificial intelligence is not the future. It is here today or has been for a long time, depending on who you ask. As we enter 2023, it is not enough to say that 2023 is the year of AI. The past few years have all been the year of AI. I believe 2023 is the year of AI education. What is AI education? I have previously written articles about AI literacy and the need for everyone in the world to understand AI at some level. AI education is the process of becoming AI literate. So you may have noticed that this is the year that AI literacy is trending. It is making its way into everything we do electronically and then some. Folks, it's very easy to see what's going to happen. We are all going to have to engage with this system, whether we like it or not. And much of this engagement will likely occur through our portable devices or cell phones. You see, here's the thing. Everybody is worried that AI will become self-aware. AI will grow to love itself so much that it will take over everything to control us and eventually destroy us. But let me tell you something. It appears that AI will not be behind the takeover humans will human beings and demonic entities are the only beings trying to take over everything ai cannot compete with the desire to destroy us more than demonic forces and evil people ai is not replacing people with robots people are do you guys realize that within the past 50 years we have gone from almost no one owning a home computer to this. Within that 50 years, AI was just science fiction. And within that 50 years, it's a reality. That's quite the rapid development. Fortunately, I believe that the dark side of this will be the works of demonic forces and people of that ilk, creating our future equilibrium. There was a film released in 2002 starring Christian Bale called Equilibrium. I think this is the first film where we see Gun Fu, which later developed into what we see in John Wick movies these days. Aside from that, the film was set in the future where having feelings is outlawed and punishable by death. Everyone was required to be on medication that suppresses emotions. Everyone essentially wore the same type of clothing and even the children were so indoctrinated into the system that they would be willing to turn in their own parents to the authorities if they showed any sign of emotion. Now, the element missing from this film, not that it was needed, but AI does not play a role in this sci-fi action movie. The antagonist is human. And the control device is drugs, along with a well-trained task force set up to hunt down and eliminate violators of their laws. And in 2019, we saw the introduction of something that reminded me of this film. And that is the application of AI technology in schools, particularly in China. In places like China and North Korea, you 
already have that equilibrium system in place. Now, with AI, they can really create countries of NPCs. Under AI's watchful eye, China wants to raise smarter students. Classrooms track students with AI cameras and brainwave monitors. A growing number of classrooms in China are equipped with artificial intelligence cameras and brainwave trackers. While many parents and teachers see them as tools to improve grades, they've become some children's worst nightmare. China has been at the forefront of implementing AI in classrooms, leading the way in leveraging these technologies to enhance education. And they will do it at the expense of the students' freedom if they have to, or what little freedom they do have. One of the key applications of AI in classrooms is intelligent tutoring systems. These systems use machine learning algorithms to adapt to individual students' needs and provide personalized instruction. They can also analyze student performance. They can identify areas of weakness and they can offer targeted feedback and resources to help students improve. This personalized approach enables students to learn at their own pace, boosting engagement and knowledge retention, ideally. Now, another significant AI application in classrooms is the use of natural language processing technologies. NLP enables the computer to understand and respond to human language. This will allow for the development of intelligent virtual assistants. Then the virtual assistant takes over the teacher's job and answers students' questions, provide explanations, and offer guidance on a countless number of topics. So they have what's called AI-powered adaptive assessments and these assessments utilize machine learning algorithms to analyze student responses and generate insights into their understanding of the subject matter. It collects data on individuals' learning patterns, you see. In other words, the AI system knows how smart you really are, and it can create tailored assessments that accurately assess students' knowledge and skills. Now, they have AI automating administrative tasks. And so the AI systems can do the job of analyzing attendance records. It can detect patterns of behavior and generate reports for the teachers and administrators. I'm so thankful I'm not a kid in school today. And this is one step away from lawnmower man technology but here we are i mean what did people think was going to happen once these technologies begin to emerge intelligent virtual assistants healthcare diagnostics autonomous vehicles fraud detection and cybersecurity, natural language processing and chat bots recommendation systems financial trading and investment smart home automation, virtual reality and augmented reality, robots and automation, language translation, content generation, energy management, agriculture and farming, personalized marketing, gaming, human resources, environmental monitoring, supply chain optimization, mental health support, scientific research, speech recognition. AI is helping to design pharmaceuticals, and the list goes on. Now, back to this brain scanning technology. A brain ready headband for students is too much, even for Chinese parents. A headband that claims to monitor children's brain waves in order to improve their focus is available for purchase in China, aimed at tiger mothers and fathers who will do everything to help their children succeed but many of its target customers are already creeped out. The Focus One, or FUC, headband from US-based startup BrainCo 
claims it can measure how closely students are paying attention through electrodes that detect electrical activity in kids' brains and send the data to teachers' computers or to a mobile app. A light on the headband that gleams red, yellow, or blue also purports to signal how engaged a child is with the task at hand, with red being the highest level of attention. My children are humans, not animals. They don't need to be cultivated like this, wrote one user, reacting to a report today about the device's pricing and availability. Who gave the two schools the right to use students as white rabbits to test the headbands? I also have some products that I'd like to test on the kids. Will the schools agree? Asked another user. Brainco, which is a US-based company. You, you know what's funny about this company? And you may find this funny, you may not. Actually, you might laugh. How many of you have seen the Terminator? Well, how many of you have seen Terminator 2, Judgment Day? Well, after the first Terminator was destroyed, the only thing the Cyberdyne systems could salvage for reverse engineering was a microchip and a metal endoskeleton hand of the Terminator. Well, this is the BrainCo website. And what do they have? The Neuromaker hand. You can't make this up. They have the Terminator hand. They call it a prosthetic. And they want children to give their input so that they can perfect the technology. I mean, part of me is teasing here, but those are the ingredients for the Terminator. They have the robot hand, and they have the AI technology. I never thought I'd say this, but it looks like we're going to have Terminators after all. Well, that's all for now, and there's more to come. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and become a level one member for exclusive content. You can also watch Woodward TV on Rumble. You can follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. Everyone have a great day, and until next time, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon.